Hello, folks. Welcome to tonight's game. This one's going to be good between the Miami Hurricanes and the Boston College Eagles. Tonight, we really have an interesting matchup at the point guard position. Number four makes it clear who's the leader out there. The player we'll be matching up with tonight is also a great leader. It'll be interesting to see which one can compel his team to victory. Well, Dick, let's get down to the court and let's get the action underway. The Eagles are the highly favored team in this one, Dick. Still, what are the keys for the game? Well, the key should be simple tonight, Brad. First, it's up to the point guard to be the leader to control the entire tempo of the game. Next, be strong with the ball. Turnovers can be the story here tonight, so protect that basketball. Lastly, grab the boards, baby. Make it a habit. All right, there you have it. Let's get to the action see what's in store for us. Moving it around the perimeter. We'll take the shot. Oh, yes. Both teams are looking to get something going here. And one too many dribbles and a steal. Goes up for two. It's good. to get it to the inside. Perfectly executed. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on the defensive player and attack the basket. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> they move it into the front court. Leans in. And he scores despite the hack. was like a NASCAR wreck and no whistle. Wow, oh, no call. You like that NASCAR. Hey, where's Mr. Petty? Looking for a good shot. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. The ball goes out of bounds. Full house and a packed crowd, and they are into it tonight. I tell you, what emotion, what an edge for the home team. Trying to go inside. Looking for contact. He buries the shot. On the dribble, gives it up. He fakes the shot. Set that screen away. He shoots from right of the circle. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. Now the high screen. Number 32 is charged with the foul. Here's a flash from the post up high. The power forward gets the pass. It sticks. This defender is resilient, still applying pressure. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely, getting the good inside angle, a poor job defensively, no help. I mean, that is post play at its best.
Look at these fans. They're loving it. The man is off the charts, Brad. I tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. Buchanan is pretty fired up and excited. He may be in the zone right now, Brad. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. Dumps it in. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Makes the move and goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. There. He's out of control, baby, out of control. Trying to feed inside. Gave it up. For the bucket. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. If he keeps this up, he may collapse. His teammates must pick it up. Well, thank you for joining us tonight with Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. I'm Brad Nessler. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. Three scorches the net. They scored seven in a row. The student body has got it going on. They look to be filled with rage and eager for a win. The student body looks like they're having some fun out there. The rim and no good. He puts it in with contact and all. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Dick at defense looks tired. Hey, that's no excuse. We've got to dig down deep and get the job done. Both teams are looking to get something going here. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. That's a great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. And, Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating him to the spot. It's a fast break possibility. He'll go to the line after that vicious dunk, Dick. Vicious is right, Brad. That dunk brought me right out of my seat, baby. I like it when the team gets to the free throw line. It shows that they're being aggressive. The key is to get to the line early in the game and often. Two, perfectly executed. And he goes with a spin. It's a hoop and a foul. He showed good concentration in that possession, Brad. He goes to the line for the first time. That's a nylon, NBN. Problem with that, when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you gotta get help because you gotta see ball, man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. The center with the ball. Tries for two. Nothing but nylon. Nice smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. He shoots from the top of the key. Tickles a twine. For the bucket. 
Perfectly executed. We need an instant replay for this one. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you what, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Golden fakes the shot. Here's a double team. Strips the ball. Here they come now on a turn. For two. Nice shot. Look at the student section, Dick, cheering on their classmates, their peers. If you ask any coach or player, I'm sure they'll say that the student section is the best. The student body looks like they're ready to terrorize the opposition. Dick, it's really been a while since I've seen a team shoot like this. Hey, every once in a while, you'll get a squad that gets on a tear and simply makes your jaw drop. It's fun to watch, isn't it, Brad? Has a nice look at the basket. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Awesome ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. Drains the shot. They say forget about it, and then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. Do they need a timeout here? Yeah, their voice is beginning to fade. see if they decided to go in another direction with things right here, Dick. It wouldn't kill them to get a little diversity in their play right now. Great anticipation defensively. What a great strip. Hugh picks up the defense. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's what you take for the team, Brad. to the line. Got to make the freebies. Takes away the pass. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. He can't let this guy have an uncontested shot. He just got to dig in and play some D. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. On the dribble, gives it up. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. That's a 7 nothing run. Working it around the perimeter. Tries for two. The Eagles have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Down on the low post defensively. Great anticipation in the steal. You can see they did a great job studying in film. They anticipated that ball coming to that post. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Boston College have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. Both teams are looking to get something going here. There's a double team waiting there. From the top of the circle, Abrams buries the three-pointer.
He missed on the steal. That's going to be the offense's game. Yes, sir. They got the advantage right there once he misses that gamble. What a bucket. Perfectly executed. The center gets the ball. There they come with a double team to stop it. Another turnover. We're not talking out the turnovers either. The center takes the pass. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Brad, both coaching staffs expected this to be an even matchup. Who will throw the first punch, and how will the other react? Puts up the shot. Dick, he's in a serious rhythm. Hey, that's because he's getting the ball in rhythm, Brad. Very important. comes back out from the post. Out there, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Fake. Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, a very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. The center takes the feed. A little frustration right there. Gave it up. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important they don't have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Trying to draw the foul. Miami are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Double team now, bad angle. Ten seconds on the clock. That's basic. Arm and foul. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, it's a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Turns it over. Dump it inside. I think they're trying to make a statement. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. They will line them up. And there they miss one. Second one, good. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity. A lot of emotion. Looking for a good shot. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. They work the perimeter on the dribble, gives at a shot block. He gets the shot to fall. He intercepts it. Puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Gave it up. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Miami have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here.
If you want to know how aggressive a team is, you check to see how many times they go to the free throw line. That's a great indicator. I'll tell you what, with a score, this crowd is going to go nuts, Dick. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Goes up for two. Doesn't go. STOP. This place will be off the charts if they can get a stop here, Brad. He looks at the hoop. That one there should have been a foul call, I think. Well, you take a look right there. I thought there was contact around the defensive player. The student body looks to be full with rage and willing to cheer on the old home team. You can't forget about them. The winning humor and dedication to their teams. You can't find this in any other team sport. With the fake. Good job defensively. They just won't get many openings. Pressure in the basketball. They get that rejected. He drains the bucket. Jumped in front to take it away. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. first dick and then works behind yeah he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player and they made an error obviously but they don't have the great respect so they're saying you know what let him get the ball and let him try to beat us he hits the tough shot i'll tell you he's not putting down with ease brad steals a pass The dribble gives it up. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Picked out of the air. Number 32 with the fake. For the bucket. He bangs it in for another score. And the hits just keep coming on, baby. It's always interesting to see who's still hot and who's not after a timeout, Dick. Well, you got to think the shooters might be the most effective, Brad. Golden in the paint. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Gave it up. Picks off the lazy pass. He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle. Was locking on the box. Got it. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Two. Great play to take that to the basket. Opportunity for two for one. The pressure that basketball help one another communicate.
He's up for two. Perfectly executed. Dick, when I see those types of things, I just get chills. Wow, the energy is unbelievable in here. He missed the guy in the post and goes the other way. Tries for two. Can't get the shot to go. Drops the bucket despite the harm. He shoots from the elbow. He nails the shot. Pull up jumper from way out. Way off target. At the half, the Eagles lead by nine. Let's take a look back and watch the play of the half. College shot a very good percentage in that first half. Patience and perfect execution played a very big part in that, Brad. Great job by the offense. Dick, we're heading into the second half in our player matchup. It's going about the way we thought it would. That's a really great balance out there because you look at the stars right now, they're getting the ball in the right place on the court where they can be effective. BC was a new addition to the ACC in 2005. They've been in the Big East since 79. I think the school was off the opportunity and jumped at it. And the ball goes out of bounds. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. He goes with a jump hook, and he missed. But inside. Alley -oop. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Looking for a good shot. Kicks it out. He attempts the trifecta. Whoa, not a good decision to take that shot. Hey, Brown, their shot selection has been questionable. Too many outside jumpers. They've got to attack inside and then out. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Dick, you know, we always like uh, comparing positions and specific matchups. What are your thoughts about the backcourt matchup so far? Hey, Brad, sometimes comparisons can be misleading. If your backcourt is weaker, then you just hope to contain your opponent's guards. Keep them in check. If you have strong backcourt play, you must attack and exploit any mismatches. Robs him of the ball. Jumps in. He shows the sweet touch. The center gets the pass. Down he goes, and no foul called either way. Wow, no call. I can't believe that one. Moving it around the perimeter. Launches the three. Miami have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. Way out on top. Controlling the ball, drains it. The Hurricanes are down by eight. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. For two. That's a great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. What's the perimeter? Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. You run him right into the screen again. What did I say? He gets the board. Entry pass in the paint. That spin move's not going to work against a defense like that. I'll tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. <laughs> and a 
momentary look from three-point land. Nick, look at the number of points off turnover. I tell you, getting baskets off turnovers is such a great and easy way to score, Brad. You want to maximize these opportunities as much as you can. Off the rim and no good. Turnover. They work it into a double team on a post. He used the screen beautifully to free himself for the easy goose. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important on how talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Tough foul. Gonna be a long walk back to the bench, baby. Dribble gives it up. Fakes it. The fake. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. I love the sky hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. Number 21 wants the fans to keep cheering. He's asking for a bit more in the next possession. This is college basketball at its best, Dick. This place is rocking and rolling, baby. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. Strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. I sometimes wonder what it would be like to be a Skywalker. Elevating and throwing it down, Mr. Nestler. How much fun would that be? Fakes the shot. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. And they come up with a steal. Nothing gonna... He threw down that dunk and got the foul. You're going to foul. They're feeling good. The momentum is on their side, and everything has fallen into place. Their body language, Dick, says it all. Hey, hey, why not? It's a team sport, right? It's that one. circle the Eagles have got to continue to get him the ball that is on fire jumps into the defender basket falls despite the contact the ball hander might be in trouble here Looking for a good shot. Fakes a jumper. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. From the baseline, they'll bring it out on top. He shoots from the top of the circle. The Hurricanes have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. The Eagles have a mismatch in the post. Can they get him the ball, though? There appears to be a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. Here's a double team. Takes away the pass. They work 
it around the perimeter. Tries for two. They just can't seem to miss. They found a serious stroke with their shooting run. move not successful Dick I did a great job on the defense not allowing him to make that turn he shoots from the top of the key he makes the shot <laughs> on the outside puts it up looking for contact he keeps the concentration off the contact for the score Gave it up. There's a high screen. With a bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Post screen, gonna use it. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. And the ball goes out of play. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Guys, I had a chance to observe his teammates in shoot around and in practice, and you can tell they really enjoy playing with him because he manages to get everybody involved. Obviously, that's what we're seeing out there tonight, guys. Thanks, Aaron. From downtown. Too strong. Strips the ball. Up and inside. He takes a three. He nails the bucket. And the fans are going wild. You're right. The student sections, the bands, and the crowd are always urging their team to victory like a sixth man. And he scores despite the hat. Now they work it around the perimeter. That's a high post screen close to the lane. Way off target. He puts it in with contact and all. It's great, Dick, to see a school like Boston College in the ACC. It is, Brad. I think they can modify their style of play, which suits the ACC. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. There's the trap. The ball goes out of bounds. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. There's the pick, there's the roll. Nice fake. He goes with a jump hook. The Eagles have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. That he's on fire. Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, a very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. They're working around the perimeter. High post screen. The Eagles have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep getting the ball. It's simple. Isolated on the outside, they're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper, trying to draw some content. Very 
soft defensively. No pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Jumped in front to take it away. I think that's why college basketball has the following it does, Dick. People from all over town and throughout the campus come and enjoy themselves at these games. Brad, it's rocking and rolling in here, baby. They work the perimeter. Dickie really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. Top of the circle, off the rim, and no good. Ball kicked out from the post. He gets that one to fall. perimeter trying to get that ball movement get that good spacing takes it off him again down court in a hurry for two great shot and they come with a double team to stop it He takes it away. Here we go on the break. There it is, Jam City. The ball goes out of play. Nick, how's he working him defensively? I'll tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help some. Almost lost the basketball. Goes up for two. Well, Mr. Vital, it looks like we're in for a great finish here. Hey, down the stretch, there are so many factors that could become the difference maker. Turnovers, missed free throws, rebounding. I wonder what it'll come down to in this game. Looking for a good shot. They'll work it around the arc. Had him in the low block, but opted against it. High post screen. So effective, that screen. How's the front court productivity tonight, Dick? You know, Brad, basketball is a big man's game. If you have a few in your team and are active and energetic, it makes your team that much better. Ultimately, you want all of your players to be productive, but an inside presence will separate your team from others. Misses both of them. He pulls down the board. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. He comes away with it. And the fans here are loving the action. Oh, I couldn't agree with you more, Mr. Nestler. We are so lucky that we get to go to all these schools and experience the mayhem firsthand. The Eagles are a stop away from hearing this crowd go senseless. Double team now, bad angle. Stolen away. Dennison looks to be down emotionally. Things aren't coming easy for him right now. He's in a rut.
turnover. Great job knocking the ball loose, then chasing it down. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. On the dribble, gives it up. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. And he's going to pick up the foul and all. Oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Abrams makes a great move to draw the foul. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, it's a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Hits the first shot. his second. They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. Hugh handles the feed. He shoots from long range. Sinks the shot. Here's a double team. Steals the ball. Inside. For the bucket. Perfectly executed. And a momentary look from three-point land. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Shoots. Oh, he's gonna knock those down. Great screen, but no go. They work it around the perimeter. Takes the pass in the paint. There's the trap. Looks at the three. Not a wise decision to take that shot there. Yeah, I'm not sure what he was thinking there. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Gets it to fall. have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Now he's on fire. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. And he's going to pick up the foul and all. Look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. How important is it to get to the free throw line? Well, you know, those bonus points, Brad, you get those simple points. They add up at the end, plus you get people into foul trouble. Sinks it. No problem so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job of post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Well, Dick, the shots seem to be dropping for him right now. Well, I'll tell you one thing. They're dropping, and you better have good productivity out of your front court. When you have that balance inside-outside, you got a great chance to win. And you have to have post players that are going to make big plays. Think, Dick? I wouldn't be surprised if they changed things up a little bit, Brad. The lead is up to eight. They could be starting to pull away here, Dick. Got the shot if he wants it. He fires from long range. Tickles the twine. The point guard with the ball. Got the high pick. 
The center receives the ball. Wow, Nick, let's check out that State Farm drive of the game. Hey, what a great move, Brad. He was able to find an opening and finish at the basket. That's a great finish. Highlight material, baby. They work the perimeter. On the outside, Dennison receives the pass. There's a double team waiting there. Taken away. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. For two. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Look out. Defender is smacked by that screen. It looks as though the students are all wound up and ready to agitate the opposition. Isn't it great, Brad? I gotta be sure they'll continue to look to foul here, Dick. Right, Brad. They have to foul in order to stop the clock, Brad. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. There's the turnover situation for the half, Dick. I'll tell you, the lower the number, the better off your team will be. With too many turnovers, the likelihood of you playing in the game at the end drops significantly. One and the bonus. No rebounding that. Second one, good. They need points on this possession, baby. The Hurricanes call a timeout. And let's go part side, Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, I'm sure the coaches are using this time to go over crucial end-of-game strategy. Now, often teams will dedicate parts of their practice to special situations and end-of-game strategy. Now's the time when that practice will pay off, guys. I think she's right about that, Richie. Coming out of the timeout, I'd expect we're going to see more focused play on both sides. One would assume so. It's a five-point ball game. That's not a lot of points to be down with this much time, Brad. The more possessions you create, the better your chances. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. And there's a look at the foul situation so far. Hey, know when to foul and when not to foul is a great skill to have. Coaches should always be communicating this with their team. Timeout, Dick. That makes it a four-point lead. These kids are here to fight, Brad. Sinks it. Foul, and that stops the clock again. Brad, I think they'll continue to do so in an attempt to get back in the ball game. They should look to foul the opponent's weakest free throw shooter. One plus one if it's good. Makes the shot. Second. T.O. called. Hey, we got a burn burner here, baby. I'm thinking last second shot for the win, Mr. Nessler. I wouldn't mind seeing him change things up a little bit, Dick, here. I wouldn't be surprised either. It's a matter of clock management, Brad. They have to foul in order to get back in this game. To the charity strike. He hits his first. Second. 
hit one is good. Throws up the prayer. Wins out. Nick, you look back, it was a great matchup. We expected it to be, and it turned out to be everything we hoped for. Well, that's how you win. You've got to execute as a team. You've got to make sure the right people shoot your shot. And I'll tell you, the PT Beers responded. They've been responding within a team concept. Boston College comes away with the W in this matchup. Well, they may have come in a little overconfident, but they held their composure at the end. That's going to do it for us, folks. Thanks for being along. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews.